Hi, and welcome to the video where we're going to talk about how to hold your cello. And the first thing you want to do is get the cello at the appropriate height. And there are a lot of different heights that you can hold your cello at. Um, there are some very famous cellists that like to hold it very, very low. And some cellists that like to hold it very, very high with the end bit extended all the way out. Uh, one example is Janusz Starker, who holds it very, very low. And one advantage to having the cello really low is that you can easily go up and down the strings from first position all the way into thumb position without having to move your arm over the shoulder. Um, and one advantage of having the cello really far out, uh, very high, is that the sound becomes very, very loud and the cello seems to project um, much more, going at a better angle out to the audience. And one disadvantage to that is that now the cello, being so high up in your body, uh, doesn't allow you to get up to those upper positions as easily. You now have to make a separate motion with your elbow to get over the shoulder. So I like to teach a method that is in between the two, where we have the cello as high up as possible, uh, to get the best amount of projection, but low enough that you don't have to make a separate motion to get over the shoulder. And you want to have your scroll on the left side of your head, on the left side of your shoulder, and you want to have the cello as straight up and down your body as possible. And you want to uh, be able to have your both hands extend out pretty much equally and you want to be able to have both of your wrists completely flat. So no pronating this way and avoid pronating this way, just having your wrist completely flat um, and both equally extended out. And uh, you want to be able to squeeze the legs, um, squeeze with your legs, um, both sides of the, of the lower bout of the instrument. And you don't want to have to be able to squeeze it too hard, just enough so that you're cradling it so that if your legs were to be open, that it's not moving from side to side. Just enough so that it's keeping it in place, and maybe a little bit so that you can rock with it from side to side to have a little bit more control. So now that you've watched the video on how to hold your cello, uh, you can now move on to the very first exercise. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.